52-year-old Gerard Sykes now fighting for his life after being attacked on the J train late Wednesday night around 11.20. The father of three, who's a train conductor, was slashed from behind his ear to his left eye by a man passing through train cars with a box cutter. He was off duty and not wearing a uniform. Mr. Mayor, I am saying to you, it is not safe for the transit worker or the public. Something needs to be done. Just on the same day Sykes was attacked, police say this individual allegedly punched a man multiple times in the face while the victim was swiping his Metro card at the Union Street subway station. And in the Bronx at the Fordham Road station, police say this man pushed a 55-year-old woman to the ground and stole her cell phone. We cannot keep living like this day after day worrying about our people that's getting up, coming to work for you. Do something, please. We are begging you. MTA Brass, along with union leadership, called out the mayor over the recent spike in transit crime. People need to be safe and they need to feel safe while riding subways, buses, commuter rails, period, or they won't come back to transit, which means not coming back to New York City. Our members are getting spit on, they're getting punched, they're getting stabbed, and then you have a mayor that says there's no problem. New York City Transit Interim President Sarah Feinberg openly asked if the city had rolled back police officers that were added after the deadly stabbings back in February. If that is the case, that is news to us. We did not know that those officers had been pulled out. I think I think New York City Transit and the MTA deserve an explanation for that. The de Blasio administration fired back, calling the comments fear-mongering, writing in a statement that the MTA is actively lying to New Yorkers. It's truly outrageous to lie to discourage people from using the subways, and it's time for the MTA and the governor to stop publicly rooting against New York City's economic recovery. The Transit Workers Union will hold an emergency press conference tomorrow in front of Governor Andrew Cuomo's office saying somebody needs to act and they need to act fast. Live in the Bronx, I'm Cristian Benavides, Pix 11 News.